Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. Woman born in Nazi Germany asked about libs comparing Trump to Hitler has unbelievable answer. Critics like to make continuous comparisons between President Donald Trump and the notoriously brutal leader of the Third Reich, Adolf Hitler. Patrice Cullors, a co-founder of Black Lives Matter, likened President Donald Trump to Nazi leader Adolf Hitler during an interview with the Los Angeles Times. Cullors states that Black Lives Matter would not even meet with President Trump if invited because he is the epitome of evil stating, we wouldn't as a movement take a seat at the table with Trump because we wouldn't have done that with Hitler. Trump is literally the epitome of evil, all the evils of this country, be it racism, capitalism, sexism, homophobia. She emphasized that the group's focus is on resisting government policies that harm black communities and on drawing attention to racism and police brutality and does not see a place for negotiation with the Trump administration. For us, the answer is not to sit with him but to resist him and to resist every single policy that he's implemented that impacts our communities, she said, adding that the president is killing our communities. Yet, a German woman, an actual survivor of the rise and terror of the Third Reich and Hitler's iron grip over Germany, has a few words for this woman and her ilk, seven words to be exact. Marion Ingeborg Andrews, is known as Inga by those closest to her, was born in Dusseldorf, Germany, in 1940 during the height of Hitler's reign. Inga managed to escape just prior to the beginnings of the Holocaust with her mother by the skin of their teeth in a harrowing escape. She and her mother lived in a refugee camp prior to fleeing to America, forced to survive catastrophic and horrific events brought about by the Nazi Party's fascism and racial hatred. Many of the memories of those harrowing days of escape began coming back to her when angry leftists began protesting President Trump's travel ban and other executive orders all completely within the scope of the executive body of government in the United States. All while chanting easily repeatable slogans equating President Trump to Hitler, Andrews now believes it is her mission to educate these people on what she knows and just how ignorantly misinformed these people are in their comparisons between President Trump and Hitler, as well as pointing out just what is representative of everything Hitler-esque with the current political environs. Andrews stopped the leftist progressive bullies in their tracks with these seven words when the Independent Journal Review asked Andrews about her thoughts on leftists saying that Trump is a dictator much like Hitler. She simply pointed out not only can she refute this mistruth with personal experience, she also explained that it's the destruction of freedom of speech from the leftist protesters that actually resembles Hitler and Nazi Germany, not President Donald Trump. Andrew states, what is going on in this country is giving me chills. Trump is not like Hitler. Just because a leader wants order doesn't mean they're like a dictator. What reminds me more of Hitler than anything else isn't Trump, it's the destruction of freedom of speech on the college campuses. The agenda's fueled by the professors. That's how Hitler started, he pulled in the youth to miseducate them, to brainwash them, it's happening today. Andrew speaks of the brainwashing of America's youth through the leftist progressive bias in the public school systems that is especially prevalent on college campuses. She states that fears that it is breeding the same intolerance and fascism that gave rise to book burnings and unspeakable horrors under the rise of Hitler's Third Reich in the 1930s. Andrews explains she lived through a much stricter travel ban than President Trump's current travel ban when her mother married an American and the vetting process her family had to go through in order to gain entry to America. Andrews states, it took six years because she had worked in Germany. It took six years to clear her to be able to be married. Then when you married an American, because we were the enemy, you had to wait. We had to go from Heidelberg to Bremerhaven where another camp was. This camp was run by the U.S. military. They vetted us in both places. There were all these German brides with their children and families who had to be vetted again for three or four days before they could get on the ship. The ship we took was the USS Washington. We arrived in New York in March of 1953. My mother, Meta Weinbach, and I still had the last name Muller. So we had a vetting process like what we are going through now because you have to have this to make the country safe. Then Andrews delivers some choice words for these so-called protesters that are rioting with their emotionally driven activism believing that bullying and violence will get them what they want, stating it is time for America to grow up. America needs to grow up. The young people who are rioting and destroying property, who have no respect for elders and freedom of speech, I was so proud to become a citizen of this country. Professors shouldn't be telling their students to go after freedom of speech. They should be telling them that this is the greatest country in the world. I see what is happening here reflecting some of the things we saw in Germany, and it's terrifying. It's sad. But it's not because of Trump. It's because of poor education. Trump is not like Hitler. The theory that he is is propaganda. Yes, I lived through some of Nazi Germany, 
But all you have to do is read some books about that period to see how wrong that theory is. Hitler's propaganda minister Joseph Goebbels said it best. It would not be impossible to prove with sufficient repetition and a psychological understanding of the people concerned that a square is in fact a circle. They are mere words, and words can be molded until they clothe ideas and disguise. That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click like and subscribe. Thank you.